Yeah. This is our instruction sheet. What I might do for a brief moment. Um, bring me in a bit. So, looking at it, uh, a fairly straightforward option. Um, now, yeah, all very standard in its proceedings. Put together the cockpit assembly, which goes inside your fuselage, then that on the wings. All very, uh, dare I utilize the phrase or use the phrase, standard operating procedure. Now, there are some bits here that look potentially cool. Now, so, and we'll have a look at that in a minute once you take, open the box. Maybe some uh, detail and here can be brought to the fore. I want to have a bit of a look at this. I know the dash, you have to do the, the uh, in fact, illustrates here C10. Uh, you have to paint them all on your own. Yeah, I'm a fan of doing that stuff, guys. Um, now they're suggesting flat back for the uh, um, gauges and interior green for the dash. I would, as an opinion, and bear in mind with a lot of this stuff, uh, this is what it cuts right down to. Um, have, I looked at it, whenever you do a kit, look at a few pictures, see what you're dealing with, guys. Big tip. Now, myself, I would go black on the dash, because the dash that I've seen in the back have been black, and maybe a gunmetal grey on the gauges to bring them up. They'll be quite visible, they'll look great. Maybe a few different coloured bits and bobs. I can certainly do that on uh, these ones here. Yeah, yoke and things like that. Not quite sure what C15 would be. Closer. That might even just be the footrests. Um, do they give a colour for that? No. Yeah, fair enough. What's C9? Okay, all these questions. Now, other thing. Um, that's kind of interesting. I notice that the canopy comes in three segments. What I'm going to try and do, see how it's in three segments in that diagram? What I want to see is because that would presumably have went over and slid back to there. So what we might even, what I'll do is I'll paint the canopy as is and when the opportunity comes, which is to say once everything's ready to rock and roll, I will see if I can do that. I would suggest there's every chance I could, otherwise they wouldn't have built it that way. And if I can, that'll make me a happy camper. Yes, it will. Um, now, that little assessment there. Oops, now get it out of the way. Detailing the cockpit. What we might do is we want to very gently open this up. I don't want to put the picture because I can avoid it. Oh, no. Actually, here's a clever idea. Sissies. They say I'm just a pretty face, but they're wrong. There. Uh, hang on a moment. Now, you can see here how we've got a nice bit of detail to utilise in the cockpit. So that'll be good stuff to work with. Now looking just here. Ooh, but, uh -huh. Now if we hold that up that way, I'm not sure how well that you can, okay, you can probably, hopefully, I'll get that out so it's not distracting. We'll get a clearer view of things. That's better. You can see here is where the, um, I think that's the air filter, part of the cooling system, goes. And 
I'm hoping, once we open the other bag in a minute, we'll see, that we will get the opportunity to rake a bit of detail. Now, there's another thing here. Not quite sure what goes there. Well, let's have a look. Now, let's have a look at what we've, what else we've got here. Get that out of the way for a moment. Right over there. Now, here's our dash. And as we can see, we've got lots of marvellous options to detail there and really bring stuff up. And in fact, oh, guys, really? Hang on a moment. This is going to require a lot of cogs. Hang on. Oh, that is... Uh, that is some next level shit, man. It really is. Okay, let's see if I can show you this successfully. I'd love to if I can. Okay. Right, look at that. Now, if you look closely at that dash, you can see they've actually gone. There is stuff inside that dash. But, uh, or inside the gauges that you can work with. That is some sexy stuff, man. I am very excited by what I've just seen. Deary, deary me, that is good work. Bravo to Academy, I must say. Nice job. And that, okay, here's something I always have a quick, I have a quick uh, screw that. That's where the real base out face operate. Okay, they're very round. Oh, they've got them fully sealed, okay. Yeah, right. So how do the wheels go? Excuse me a moment. This is wheels and wheel pays can be curious little widgets. So like that. How did they? They must have retracted in a freaky sort of a way. They come up that way as normal, but there's only just that straight sort of circle sort of a thing. Intriguing. Yeah. Be that as it may. If that is how it is done. That is how it's done. All right. Okay, so that's the kit now. And as I said, pretty chip and chirpy about all that actually. Now, what we want also have a quick squeeze is that. Here's our uh, the decals we're going to do. And it's, of course, the uh, paint job in question. Now, this has to give some really good uh, information about uh, the um, about the guy in question. Um, yeah, he uh, he was the only one who. It was a bit, bit of a childhood dream, and he made it come true, and good man. Um, now, here we go. So we've got three colours. Um, four colours, rather. Now, I've definitely got uh, the olive. I've definitely got the white. I'm not sure if I've got grey. Can tell you free of charge. I've got black and white, which can't kind of make grey, but I like to uh, get properly mixed uh, stuff first. There's some curious little uh, widgets to this as a look. Um, what colour is that meant to be? It looks like neither white nor grey. Dear me. Wait a minute. Actually, model off to how to tell you that much for your judge, but beyond that, people, mm. and there's an interesting feature, unless I'm much mistaken. It looks like the insignia actually goes into the cockpit, which is indeed pretty unusual. But if that's what it is, and it's not a biggie, because I will. As a rule of thumb, um, be do, I'll do my decaling before I put the uh, canopies in, largely because if you get varnish on your 
can be to go misty or let's get on clear by the day. And that most easily avoided by not putting it in until the last minute. So there you have it. that's my theory. I'm Ken Brockman, and that's my two cents worth. Um, what's the time at the moment? Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Okay, that would be the other thing I saw. I was having a squeeze with it before, as far as. Okay. Hmm. Not quite sure what colour to utilise there, though. It looks a. Actually, I do. Wonder. Yeah, just for that part. little portion of there, just to get it right. I would have been happy if I could have identified that, but that's pedantry. Now. Okay. That's an interesting paint job, I must say. Okay, so there's our kit. Um, really looking forward to this. It looks very nice. There's no excessive bits and bobs we're need, going to need to worry too much about. As far as what I'm talking about is having to sand stuff down or whatever. It's all very nice. Ah, 